Hello everyone! I'm excited to see all of your new decks that you submit for the month of July. Before we jump into things, I want to go over some changes in terms of how play is going to be structured and scored. Let's begin by giving you a sense of how things have been handled previously and why they were handled that way. The initial plan was for every submission to play in a round robin style tournament. So if I received 50 submissions, each deck would play against the other 49 players, both going first and going second. So that comes out to a total of 4,900 games. That seemed like a very manageable goal, believe it or not, for me to process in a one month period. That being said, I'm very grateful that people have taken a strong interest in joining this community and participating, but it has grown much faster than I had initially anticipated. And the trouble with doing a round robin style tournament is every additional player is significantly more labor than the previous player, which means that accepting a new player after I've already accepted 50 becomes more and more challenging. For that reason, I'm going to change the structure into splitting into pods of 25 is the plan. And to give you an idea of how much labor that saves me, a pod of 25 is 25 players play the other 24 players twice, once going first, once going second, and that comes out to 1,200 games processed, which means that compared to accepting 50 players in total, I can accept 100 players and do just about the same amount of labor. So I can accept twice as many people into this tournament. I think that is better for everyone and I want to see more people be able to participate. So that doesn't really change much from your end. However, I do want to clarify that the way that the pods are going to be split is based off of your previous ELO. If you played in previous months, you already have a ELO rating, and you will be placed into a pod with people that are most close to your rating. So the top 25 rated players will go in the same pod, the bottom 25 players would also go in a different pod, and so on. I'm also expecting there to be a large number of new participants. As a matter of fact, I expect the majority of participants to be new participants. And just for reference here, new participants start at 1500 ELO rating, and you will be split as evenly as possible among the pods randomly. So you may end up in a pod with the best players, or you may end up in a pod with players that were a little down on their luck last month. You might also just end up in a pod exclusively with players that are exactly the same rank as you because they've also just started playing. The reason behind splitting players on rank is it's going to make it easier for there to be a clear monthly leaderboard at the end. The highest rated pod will be placed at the top of the monthly leaderboard by default, but of course which pod you are in will change over time based off of how your ELO rating changes over time. The other benefit here is it lets players play at the skill level that they are estimated to be at. So if you are a player who's just learning the format or wants to goof around and submit sillier decks, you will be put into a pod with players that are performing closer to how you are performing. If you have any additional questions about the changes in this system, feel free to ask me in the comments below or join the Discord channel to strike up a conversation with me and the rest of the community there. I do want to make it clear that even with the changes to this system, there is still going to be a limited number of players that I can accept on a monthly basis. So for that reason, please get your submission in as early as you can. If you are unable to participate because you were not able to get your submission in early enough, I do recommend that you join the Discord. We will be running side events there that won't make appearance on the websites, but they'll have their own special rule sets, and you can even run your own side event. I also do want to give a shout out to a different three card blind community called Metashape. So if you're itching to participate now or in as many three card blind events as you want, if you want to participate in several of them, that would be a great community to check out. I will put a link in the description of the video to that as well. That wraps it up, folks. If you have a deck ready to submit, 
be sure to check out the ban list under the rules tab on the website before submitting. And when you are ready to submit, go to the participate tab and click deck submission to enter your deck into the tournament for July. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with and see you soon.